Let's work on our next lesson, add fractions. The problem says one fifth of the ships at the spaceport are fighter jets from Earth and one fifth of them are cargo ships from Earth. What fraction of the ships at the spaceport are from Earth? Simplify your answer and write it as a proper fraction or a mixed number. Well, I know that they said one fifth are fighter jets and one fifth are cargo ships and they're both from Earth. So we're going to add them together, one-fifth plus one-fifth. So one-fifth plus one-fifth is equal to two-fifths. I'll draw a picture to show you why this is true. If we have a shape split into fifths, and we have one-fifth, and then we add one more fifth, now we have one two so we do not add these bottom numbers together because we're still working with fifths, we're adding them together. So one fifth plus one fifth is two fifths. So we'll write that here as our answer, two fifths. Madison goes to the fair and gets a bunch of temporary tattoos. Two fourths of them are dolphins. One fourth are Chinese characters and one fourth are hummingbirds. What fraction of Madison's temporary tattoos are animals? Simplify your answer and write it as a proper fraction or a mixed number. Well, they said that two-fourths are dolphins, so that's an animal. One-fourth are Chinese characters. Nope. And one-fourth are hummingbirds. Yes, that's an animal too, so let's add that. One-fourth. All right. So two-fourths plus one-fourth. Well, remember, we don't add the bottom number together. It stays the same. So our bottom number we know is still going to be fourths. And we have two-fourths plus one-fourth. So that's three-fourths. Again, let's look at a picture of why this works. If we split this into fourths, and we have one-fourth, and two more fourths, one, two, then now we have one, two, three-fourths. Two-fourths of the cupcakes in the bakery are vanilla with chocolate icing, and one-fourth are strawberry with chocolate icing. What fraction of cupcakes have chocolate icing? Simplify your answer and write it as a proper fraction or a mixed number. Well, I know that they said two-fourths have vanilla with chocolate icing, and one-fourth are strawberry with chocolate icing. So two-fourths plus one-fourth will equal how many have chocolate icing? Well, I remember I add my top numbers. Two plus one is three. And then my bottom number stays the same because we're adding fourths together. Two-fourths and one-fourth would be three-fourths. Good. Rhinos have different length horns. Two-sixths of the rhinos have five to six inch horns. One sixth have four to five inch horns, and one sixth have three to four inch horns. What fraction of rhinos have short and long horns? Simplify your answer and write it as a proper fraction or a mixed number. So I can see that the long horns are five to six inches, and two sixths of the rhinos have long horns. They also asked about short horns. So what fraction have short and long, and the short horns are three to four inches, and that is one-sixth of them, so we will add that together, one-sixth. Two-sixths plus one-sixth is three-sixths. Now, before we write our answer, they would like us to reduce our fraction or simplify it further if we can, and here we can. We can take three-sixths, and we can see that it can be reduced, and I'll show you why. So here, if we have a shape split into sixths, one, two, three, four, five, six, and we color in three of those sixths, we're coloring in one half of the shape. So three sixths is equal to one half. Notice three is half of six and one is half of two. Pretty neat. So three sixths is equal to one half. So one half is our answer reduced. 
All right. One fourth of the ships at the spaceport are fighter jets from Earth and two fourths of them are cargo ships from Earth. What fraction of the ships at the spaceport are from Earth? Simplify your answer and write it as a proper fraction or a mixed number. So we have one fourth plus two fourths. What do you think one fourth plus two more fourths would be? Yeah, three fourths. That's our final answer. At a bakery, two fourths of the donuts are chocolate filled maple donuts and one fourth are chocolate filled chocolate donuts. What fraction of the donuts are chocolate filled? Simplify your answer and write it as a proper fraction or a mixed number. So we have two fourths plus one fourth because they are both chocolate filled. Two plus one is three and then our denominator stays the same when we're adding fractions, so three-fourths. Of the shirts in Brianna's closet, one-third are teal and another one-third are red. What fraction of the shirts are either teal or red? Simplify your answer and write it as a proper fraction or a mixed number. Well, I know we have one-third plus one-third. So how many thirds will we have? Two thirds, which is right here. Of the shirts in Elizabeth's closet, two fourths are teal and another one fourth are red. What fraction of the shirts are either teal or red? Simplify your answer and write it as a proper fraction or a mixed number. So two fourths are teal and one fourth are red. So two plus one is three, and our four stays the same because we are adding, so three fourths. One fourth of the animals at the zoo need exclusively water habitats, while two fourths of them need partially water habitats. There are 200 animals in the zoo. What is the fraction of animals that require a water installment in their habitats? Simplify your answer and write it as a proper fraction or a mixed number. So I see that one fourth plus two fourths need water. All right, so one fourth and two fourths. So if we add those together, that would be three fourths. There's three fourths. There are one third watermelon candy blocks and one-third cherry candy blocks, with the remaining candy blocks being peach. What fraction of the candies are watermelon or cherry? Simplify your answer and write it as a proper fraction or a mixed number. Well, I know that one-third are watermelon and one-third are cherry. So what fraction of the candies are watermelon or cherry? Let's add them together. One plus one is two, and our three stays the same because it is addition, and that is our denominator. So two-thirds. Amazing work today, my friends.